You are Lisa from Blackpink. Please style me an outfit for going on a picnic with my boyfriend. I'd be wearing a cropped graphic tee with high-waisted mom jeans, a crossbody bag, and some white sneakers. And that's Dollette. Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Sponge Cake Doll. Today's video is gonna be something completely different and super exciting. You read the title correctly. It's time to let artificial intelligence style me for a week. As you know, I love experimenting with fashion and trying out unique styles. I can't do this. <laughs> As ChatGBT so artfully scripted, I will be letting AI style me for a week and throughout the week I'm going to be trying out different styles from the generic kawaii category to dollette to gyaru and we'll see how it does. I don't want to make this any longer than the amount of time that the AI already took out of this video so let's get to it. <laughs> Hello there my treats, it's day one and today I'm going to be applying for jobs at a coffee shop because I do like to go to coffee shops in order to just kind of get in the zone and have an excuse to leave the house. So right now I'm going to word it, please style a kawaii outfit for me to apply for jobs at a coffee shop. Sure, I can help you put together a kawaii outfit for a job interview at a coffee shop. I did not say job interview. I said to apply for jobs. <laughs> Starting off on a great foot. And now it's titled itself kawaii job interview outfit. Where did it get job interview? Like, I, can I want to understand. I'd rather not make assumptions. I'd rather it like just go exact to what I asked, but okay. I'm just gonna say not a job interview. How do I even write this? Um, hi. I'm just gonna say this is not for a job interview. I will be applying to jobs on my laptop. I apologize for misunderstanding your request earlier. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Here's an idea for a kawaii outfit for you to wear to a coffee shop. Start with a flowy knee length skirt and a fun print like polka dots or floral. The skirt should be comfortable to sit in for a while as you will be working on your laptop. Pair the skirt with a fitted solid colored t-shirt or blouse in a color that complements the print of the skirt. This will balance out the volume of the skirt and keep the outfit from being too overwhelming. For shoes, choose a pair of cute and comfortable sneakers in a coordinating color with the outfit. This will allow you to be on your feet for a while without hurting your feet and the sneakers will also add to the casual and cute vibe of the outfit. Add some kawaii accessories like a fun headband or a hair clip, some statement earrings or a cute necklace, and a cute tote bag to hold your laptop and other essentials. Okay, okay. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. I feel like this is pretty simple enough, so yeah. See you guys in a bit. I'll show you the finished look. So this is the final look for today. Since the AI said that I should wear a flowy skirt with some kind of pattern like floral or polka dots, I decided to go with this yellow skirt that I got from Mexico City. I decided to go with a very simple white t-shirt. And honestly, this outfit was kind of hard to manipulate to my tastes. I put on this sweater vest kind of assuming that it wouldn't work. I was ready to take it off, but I was like, hold on. Let me, let me keep trying, let me keep trying. I kind of had it like tucked in, I took it out so that I can add some, I don't know, dimensions to it, kind of cut all of the floral skirt happening here. And I also added this jacket thing that I thrifted from Goodwill, in one of my Thrift With Me videos. And then because I'm wearing like this, sweater vest which has a little bit of black in it i decided you know what i'm gonna try to wear a different colored wig which is black it was kind of a bold choice i felt that it matched very well with this tote bag which i have right here it's a karomi tote bag and then i also added my liz lisa cinema roll charm to kind of cut the black again and kind of bring it back to like the white of my t-shirt and then the sneakers i feel like i took a lot of risks with this partially because it's out of my comfort zone so let me know what you guys think. Anyways, I'm off to the coffee shop now. Oh. 
All right, so today is day two of letting AI decide my outfits for a week. Today is quite cloudy and chilly here in LA, even though it's May, and I'm going to be editing YouTube videos here at home, just kind of staying cozy, not really going outside, and I feel like it's kind of important to get dressed even if you're staying at home in order to do stuff. I found that it really helps my mental health when I do that and I'm really curious to see how the AI will tackle styling an outfit even though I'm staying at home. So I'm going to use the same kind of template from yesterday starting with please style a kawaii outfit because it helps for me to say like kawaii or some other identifier so that it realizes that like you know i'm into j fashion and stuff like that so please style kawaii outfit for me to edit youtube videos from home I'll, I'll write it like that for now. A cozy oversized pastel pink sweater with cute cartoon graphics on it. A pair of high-waisted light wash denim shorts with lace detailing. Soft and fluffy knee-high socks with a cute animal face on them like bunnies or kittens. Adorable fuzzy slippers or fuzzy sandals in a complimentary pastel color like lavender or mint green. Some cute hair accessories like a pastel colored scrunchie or a headband with a bow. Oh, this is actually really good. Like it knew exactly what I was asking. Um, some of these I don't have like cute cartoon graphics on my sweaters. I feel like as a kid, I liked graphics more, but as I've gotten older, I don't really like graphics. So I don't have that much of that in my closet anymore. I also don't really have like fluffy socks really same thing with like sandals and stuff so i'm gonna figure out i'm gonna figure it out so i decided to cheat a little bit and throw a t-shirt that does have graphics on it on top of a sweater so just pretend that this is just one big sweater just between you and me it gets the point across it's comfy it's pastel it has a cute pattern on it and honestly it's kind of more interesting to have layers anyways I know that it said like a light wash denim, but I kind of cheated again and was like, well, white is pretty light, right? It's the lightest you can find out of all denim. So since I don't have lace for my shorts, I decided, okay, maybe I can wear some socks that actually do have lace. They also recommend that the knee high socks are fluffy and I don't have fluffy socks. So I decided to wear my leg warmers, which are pink in order to match with the oversized sweater that I have going on up here, which is also pink. And then I'm wearing socks with like a strawberry print. As you can see, I'm not wearing any slippers. I do wear slippers around the house, but unfortunately the ones that I have are just not that aesthetic. You get the general idea. I decided to go with my pink bandana and I just tied it so that it made a little bit of a bow on top of my head. And honestly, I think it's kind of cuter than, you know, what the AI was probably trying to tell me to do. I'm wearing my uh, My Melody little charm. I feel like this little charm here always just like brings outfits together for me. I love wearing charms. Honestly, I'm gonna start collecting more. And I'm also wearing candy. I feel like, you know, what's a kawaii outfit without candy, am I right? I feel like this is pretty comfortable, but it could be more comfortable. But I do feel very cute. So that's definitely a plus. All right, so after like two seconds of my bare cheeks touching the cold chair and those thigh highs just like constantly rolling down, I just, I had enough. I had enough and I switched to sweatpants. Sue me, sue me YouTube police. I couldn't do it. Too much sensory stuff happening. It was just, I was not having it. They're so loud. To start, I am cutting up three pieces of string. One the size of the circumference of my wrist, and then another one that will be for the star, which is about three fourths of the length of that one. 
All right, so today is day three of letting AI decide my outfits for a week. And today I'm gonna to be going to Target. Honestly, my days are very mundane, you guys. I'm not doing a whole lot. So something like going to Target is indeed the peak of my day. So I'm gonna be going to Target with Rue just to like look around, get a few things for the house and get a Starbucks drink. Please style a kawaii. I'm going to replace kawaii with Gyaru today and write to go to Target. Sometimes I feel like a boomer using technology because it's like not easy for me to type. <laughs> so it's saying, opt for a cute feminine dress that showcases your Gyaru style. Choose a knee length or meaty dress in a vibrant color or fun print like polka dots, florals, or stripes. Look for dresses with details like ruffles, lace, or bows to add a touch of girlish charm. I guess it's trying to get me to do Hime Gyaru. Layer your dress with a cozy and stylish cardigan. Pick a lightweight cropped cardigan in a complimentary color to your dress. This will add a layer of warmth and give your outfit a trendy touch. Choose a cardigan with cute details like pearl buttons or lace trims. I actually do have that. Tights, pair your dress with a pair of opaque or patterned tights. Select tights that enhance the overall look of your outfit. For instance, you could go for sheer black tights for a classic vibe or up for pattern tights with cute motifs like hearts or stars to add a playful element. This doesn't feel gal at all. I feel like gals don't really, I mean, this is a huge stereotype, but I feel like if avoidable, we generally don't actually wear tights. Like we might wear like thigh high boots. Instead of ankle boots, go for a pair of comfortable and fashionable ballet flats or Mary Jane shoes. Look for flats in a coordinating color to your dress to opt for a contrasting color to make a statement. You can choose flats with bows, ribbons, or other decorative details to accentuate your Gatter style. Hair accessories. Decorate your hair with cute accessories like hair bows, headbands, or hair clips. Flowers or sparkles. Jewelry. Opt for chunky statement jewelry. Carry a stylish handbag or tote that complements your outfit. Choose a bag with a playful design or in a bright color to match your Gyaru aesthetic. Remember to style your hair in a way that suits your personal preferences, whether it's voluminous curls, a high pruning tail, or cute pigtails. Have fun experimenting with makeup to enhance your feature and add a touch of Gyaru inspired glamour to your overall look. I'll, I'll definitely call this the bare minimum. I can do this and then try and make it more gal and then just like do like a hime, kaji type of look. I feel like sometimes the AI just like makes an outfit and then it says, oh, here's this outfit is for what you asked. And it's like it's gaslighting you into telling you, yeah, like, yeah, that's the style you asked for. Yeah, right? <laughs> Do my best. <laughs> All right, so this is the finished look that I have for today, which is Gyaru. I think it's actually pretty Gyaru. It's like, it's giving himikaji, which I think is actually pretty good. Like, this is a pretty himikaji look, which is cute for Target, yet still comfy. I decided to go with this color dress, which is orange. In my mind, it's pretty vibrant. I don't know, what do you think? This cardigan here, I think is pretty cute. It has pearls, like it has this pearl detail here, along with even bows as well. And then I paired it with these stockings. I'm gonna say that these bows and holes are a cute pattern. I decided to wear these Mary Janes even though they're black. They kind of initially didn't really go with the outfit, but in order to have it match, I am wearing this tote bag that you guys have seen plenty of times by now. With again, the cinema roll charm that I got from Liz Lisa. And yeah, I feel like it matches pretty well because it goes with the shoes and then it also goes with the cardigan and the stockings. So I think it can pretty, you know, what's coming together. And then for hair accessories, I'm wearing this headband, which is all pearls. And I felt like it would match really well with the pearls on this cardigan and just like the general vibe of the stockings. And the AI also said to wear chunky, like bold jewelry, which I kind of disagreed with. As you can see, most of my jewelry is kind of on the daintier side with these pearl bracelets and this 
small necklace that I have here. But in order to fulfill its request, I did go with the hoop earrings that it suggested. Since I do own hoop earrings from back in my big hoop era, I don't really wear these that often anymore. So it is kind of fun to just kind of play around with it again. And then I'm also wearing my gal makeup. The AI didn't say exactly how to make the makeup, so I just went off of what I know already in general about gal makeup. It's pretty much like the usual go-to style that I've been doing as of late for Gyaru. I think this might be my favorite so far, but we'll see about tomorrow. <laughs> So today is day four and Rudy and I are going to be going on a little impromptu picnic. We're going to be getting some treats from the store and, and getting like little drinks from like Starbucks and stuff. It's not going to be anything crazy like, you know, baking stuff overnight. It's just, it's really like a last minute thing. We were originally going to actually do brunch, but we ended up pushing that till later because logistically it just wasn't working out for today. So yeah, I'm really excited to go on a picnic though because today it's really sunny. It looks nice and warm. I'm just really excited to just like relax and enjoy some fresh fresh air and eat little treats so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing for today one thing I noticed that I haven't tried is having the AI role play as like a certain figure or someone with a profession or something like that that's something that I notice a lot of people do when using AI they'll say oh you are this now give me advice as this person or whatever. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have the AI role play as Lisa from Blackpink because I love her style and her personality the most out of all the Blackpink members and who doesn't want to be styled by a member from Blackpink? Also, I'm really curious to see how the AI will try and tackle this because I have very low expectations. So yeah, let's we'll see how that goes. You are Lisa from Blackpink. Please style me an outfit for going on a picnic with my boyfriend. It says, as an AI language model, I can certainly help you with outfit suggestions. Here's a stylish and comfortable outfit idea inspired by Lisa's fashion sense. Not very role play of you, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Start with a breezy and feminine look that combines comfort with a touch of sophistication. Okay. Top. Opt for a loose flowy blouse with delicate details like lace or embroidery. This will create a fresh and romantic vibe. I do have a white blouse, but I don't know if it's like loose and flowy, so I'll do my best there. Pair the blouse with high-waisted denim shorts or a skirt and a light wash. Okay, I think I have that. The high-waisted design adds a trendy element while providing a flattering silhouette. Accessories. Add a straw hat to protect yourself from the sun and complete the picnic aesthetic. Urgh, I don't have a straw hat. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Opt for a stylish pair of oversized sunglasses to add a touch of glamour and shield your eyes from the sun. I have sunglasses, but they're not oversized, so we're off to a great start here. Choose a medium-sized cross bag in a neutral or pastel color. I think I have that. It should be spacious enough to hold your essentials like water, bottle, sunscreen, and a small blanket. I don't know if I have one that big, so I'm probably gonna carry that differently. Jewelry, keep it simple with delicate gold or silver accessories such as a dainty necklace and some minimalistic earrings. Okay, I can do that. Opt for a pair of comfortable and trendy sneakers, I have that. Or flat sandals, I have that. In a neutral or pastel shade. This will allow you to move around freely during the picnic. Yeah. Agreed. Extra layers. Depending on the weather, you might want to bring around a lightweight cardigan or a denim jacket to layer over your blouse in case it gets chilly later in the day. Smart. I always bring a cardigan something at least because I always get cold at picnics, like notoriously. It doesn't matter how nice it is outside, I get chilly. Since the straw hat is so specific, I think I'm going to ask what to wear as a hair accessory since I don't have a straw hat. Thank you, exclamation point. I unfortunately don't have a straw hat. Do you have an alternative that you recommend? Opt for a wide brimmed floppy hat in a light color. I don't have this. 
Alternatively, you can consider these accessory options. Bucket hat. I do have a bucket hat, but it's fuzzy. Choose a cute bucket hat in a fun pattern or solid color. If you prefer a more sophisticated and chic look, go for a fedora hat. Remember, accessories are meant to complement your personal style, so feel free to choose the one that resonates with you and matches your overall outfit. Enjoy your picnic. Okay, it shows like everything but the hats that I actually have, which are basically like like ball caps. I'll wear whatever complements the overall outfit, um, and I'll do my best to match what it recommends. So let's see. All right, so this is the outfit for today. I feel like this is pretty cute. I ended up going with the denim shorts that are a little too tight on me because they're just so cute. They're from Uniqlo and I thrifted them recently only to find that they were actually quite small on me but I still really like them so sometimes I just try and make it work. And I realized that I also had this Lee's Lisa blouse on hand and the AI also mentioned like including details like little lace trims and stuff like that. I realized that I don't have to have a blouse that's completely white so I thought this was perfect. It has little flowers and lace. I'm wearing my Air Force Ones. I love combining sneakers with daintier outfits and I'm also wearing this crossbody bag that I got a long time ago. I think from a like yes style and it has like a little bear charm which I think goes really well with the overall vibe with little daisies on it and it carries quite a lot it has like my sunscreen and like random stuff like gum and hand sanitizer and I also have my sunglasses on hand so I'm gonna be feeling pretty chic they're not oversized, but they're as close to what I could envision. And I also am going to bring this jacket in case it gets cold. It doesn't really match with the denim on my shorts, but I think it's still very cute and gets the job done. I'm just like not gonna like wear it, wear it unless I need to. <laughs> And also, good news, I asked Rudy if he has any hats on hand. Funny enough, he has a lot of hats. <laughs> and a lot of them are actually bucket hats. And one of them is an Ikea bucket hat. They're not quite the same blue, but I feel like it can have the same vibe. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's not too shabby. I feel like, yeah, I'm feeling it. I think it's pretty cute. The AI kept saying like straw hat and like floppy hats and stuff like that of the like, but I'm like, I feel like this is like more like my vibe for today. It's really comfy and it just, I feel like it brings everything together. So sunglasses on deck and yeah, I'm feeling pretty good and ready for a picnic. Also, I am very hungry and it's getting kind of late. So let's get going. <laughs> So today is day five and I'm thinking about going to Koreatown to work a little bit from one of my favorite Starbucks. The Starbucks in Koreatown, particularly in Chapman Plaza, is like really fancy for like no reason. So I've been wanting to go back there for a while and it's also an excuse to go outside and enjoy the fresh air and just kind of enjoy different pacing. Overall, it's a plaza, so I feel like there's like a lot of stuff that you can do, like like there's boba there, there's ramen, there's little shops, and Koreatown as a whole is like pretty walkable compared to like most parts of LA, so I thought it would be kind of fun to just like hang out there, get some stuff done, walk around. Please style me a casual dollette outfit for me to spend an afternoon in Koreatown. Sure, here's a casual dollette inspired outfit for your afternoon in K-Town. Start with a cropped graphic tee featuring a Korean inspired design or a logo from a K-pop group. Why, because I'm going to K-Town? This adds a playful and trendy touch to your outfit. Bottoms, pair the top with a high-waisted mom jeans or denim shorts. Opt for a light wash with a relaxed fit for a comfortable and effortless look. Accessories. 
Add a stylish headband with a colorful or patterned fabric to elevate your hairstyle and add a touch of femininity. Crossbody bag. Opt for a small crossbody bag with a vibrant color or fun pattern. It should be compact enough to carry your essentials like your phone, wallet, and a small makeup pouch. Choose a trendy pair of sunglasses that complements your face shape and the overall vibe of the outfit. Jewelry. Keep it simple with some dainty layered necklaces and a few stackable rings. These delicate pieces will add a touch of sparkle to your look without overpowering it. Consider wearing a stylish wrist watch for a polished and put together look. Complete the outfit with a pair of white sneakers or chunky platform sneakers. Since the weather can change throughout the day, bring along a lightweight cardigan or a denim jacket that you can easily tie around your waist or over your shoulders when needed. Remember, the key to dollette inspired fashion is to embrace a mix of casual and trendy elements while expressing your own personal style. That's not actually like, there's nothing... Okay, I'm gonna look up the meaning of Dalet right now. Dalet meaning. Dalet is an interpretation of coquette that came around in the 2020s. It was largely active on Pinterest and TikTok. The aesthetic is largely based on fashion and hyper-feminine visual cues such as florals, the color pink, and makeup. That's more accurate. It's about hyper-femininity and a lot of pink and wearing like very feminine makeup and like patterns and stuff like that. There's nothing in here that has anything to do with that, which is really frustrating. I'm gonna say that I have to disagree. I'm trying not to manipulate it, the output of the results too much. I have to disagree on your definition of Dalette, period. Dalette is supposed to be hyper feminine with lots of pink and girly patterns like florals. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Thank you for clarifying your desired Dalette style. Here is an updated Dalette inspired outfit for your afternoon in Koreatown. Okay. It's giving passive aggressive, even though I know AI can't be passive aggressive because it says, thank you for clarifying your desired Dalette style. I'm not the one who decided what Dalla is. <laughs> it's, that's just how it's put, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna get in an argument with the AI. <laughs> Choose a flowy and feminine dress in a pastel or floral print. Opt for soft and delicate fabrics like chiffon or silk. Look for details like ruffles, lace, or bows to enhance the girly aesthetic. Wear a cute headband adorned with flowers or bows to add a touch of femininity to your hairstyle. Opt for a small handbag in a soft pink or pastel shade. Look for one with feminine details like a scalped edge or floral embellishment sunglasses. Choose a pair of oversized cat eye sunglasses in a pastel color or adorned with rhinestones for a glamorous dollette look. Jewelry. Enhance your outfit with delicate and dainty jewelry like pearl earrings, a charm bracelet, or a pendant necklace. Consider wearing a feminine watch with a pink or rose gold strap to complete the look. Select a pair of cute ballet flats or Mary Jane shoes in a matching pastel shade or floral print. These shoes will add a touch of elegance and playfulness to your outfit. Bring along a lightweight pastel cardigan or a lace shawl to drape over your shoulders in case the weather gets a bit cooler. Remember, doll I love how it's like telling me what I just told it. <laughs> Remember, dollette style embraces femininity, soft colors, and playful patterns. Feel free to incorporate any specific girly patterns or color preferences that you have to make the outfit truly reflect your personal style. Enjoy your time in Koreatown. I'm gonna ask if it can incorporate jeans. Thank you. Could you give me a different Dolette inspired outfit that incorporates denim pants or shorts? I don't know why I didn't just say jeans. Okay, just to clarify, I know that generally you don't really wear denim with the style. I also don't know that much about Dolette. I'm still learning, but I really like the casual mix of Y2K with Dolette inspiration. So let's see what it says. Start with a cute and feminine blouse. 
in a soft pastel color. Look for details like ruffles, lace, or embroidery to enhance the doll aesthetic. I can think of something. I can think of something. So for pants, it says choose a pair of high-waisted jeans in a light wash or pastel shade. Opt for a relaxed or wide leg fit for a comfortable and stylish look. Why does it always say high-waisted? Like, are you afraid of like low-rise or mid-rise? Like, it's clearly leaning towards like specific trends from like 2018. Anyways, if you prefer shorts, go for high-waisted denim. See, again, high-waisted, it's always high-waisted. Like, nothing against high-waisted. I have plenty of high-waisted stuff in my closet. Like, I love wearing high-waisted, but like, mix it up, man. Like, look for distressed details or scalloped hem for added charm. Accessories, add a floral blow headband to enhance the feminine and girly vibe. Up for a small cross body bag and a complimentary press curl color or floral pattern. Look for one with delicate embellishments or bow detail. The same sunglasses. Accessorize with dainty jewelry such as pearl earrings, a delicate necklace with a pendant, and a stack of pastel colored bracelets or bangles. Wear a feminine wash with a denim or a pastel strap to add a stylish detail. Shoes. Complete the outfit with a pair of cute ballet flats in a coordinating color or a pair of Actually, don't know how to say that. Es espadrille, espadrille, espadrille wedges for a touch of height and elegance. Light layers. If the weather calls for it, bring along a crop denim jacket or a lightweight pastel cardigan to layer over your blouse for added style and warmth. Remember to embrace soft colors, feminine details, and playful elements when putting together a dollet inspired outfit. Feel free to add any other personal touches or accessories that align with your individual style. Enjoy your- I feel like I'm going crazy working with AI for this. I disagree, but maybe I'll just wear it if I didn't know what Dawet was and I just went with whatever it told me since like the first request, I'd be wearing a cropped graphic tee with high-waisted mom jeans, a crossbody bag, and some white sneakers. And that's Dollette. I already kind of manipulated it to give me a little bit more of like what I was hoping for. The option that's most Dollette-like was the second with the blouse and the floral slash bow accessories. So I'll go with that and then I'll show you guys what I come up with. All right, so this is the final look or semi-final look and I'll let you guys know why in a bit. Obviously, it's not the most dollette style you could think of. I feel like it came together pretty cute. I did my best. Since the AI said that I should wear a blouse with like some lace and frill and stuff like that, I decided to go with this Lisa, Lisa top. These are high-waisted. I'm just like not really showing that because I'm like, why would I? Like, I don't want to tuck this in. I don't want to tuck this beautiful blouse in. So I'm just kind of keeping it a little high up. And then I'm also wearing these ballet flats. Unfortunately, on top of them being pointy, they're also really hard to walk in. And then I'm wearing this crossbody bag. I'm realizing I think this is probably my only crossbody bag, but it's in a shade that really matches with a lot of different things, thankfully. I feel like it matches pretty well with this blouse as well. I'm also wearing these cat eye shades. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, like I don't I don't see what's dollette about this. Like this throws it off. Like if there's any like inkling of dollette in this outfit, then wearing these shades completely throws it out. I feel like I look more retro now when I wear these. So I don't know what I was thinking, but at least it's cute. I am thinking about wearing this Vineyard Vines cardigan that I got from Depop. They're not the same shade of pink, but at least it's better than just this being by itself or this by itself. You know what I mean? So there's this as well. And then I'm also wearing this makeshift headband with bows attached to it, which I think matches really well with my dainty jewelry over here. The pearls stacked together as the AI asked for. And I'm also wearing this Nine West bracelet that I got a while back from Marshalls. I'm going to be switching this crossbody bag for actually a bigger bag because I wanted to do some work at the Starbucks at the Chapman Plaza for a little bit and I just I need to be able to carry my laptop and stuff and this is just not going to cut it so I'm planning to wear my Caroni tote bag. All right, so this is the final, final look and yeah, this is a lot comfier, especially 
For my feet, I'm wearing my sneakers, which I can walk as long as I want in them. And I actually ended up deciding to switch the cardigan as well and drop the sunglasses. And I felt like this cardigan would bring things together a lot better since I'm wearing a black bag. I felt like there were just too many things not matching with me wearing my white sneakers and the pink sunglasses and the pink cardigan. It's just like too much. So at least it's just my white sneakers that kind of stand out and the rest is kind of like blending and working together, if that makes sense. So yeah. Let's go to Koreatown! crazy amount of stuff to do but there's just enough to make my brain go brrr. Korean barbecue. One day I'll come here. Starbucks. It's kind of silly that I'm coming to K-Town just to get Starbucks but I don't know maybe I'll get something else later. It's kind of good for like an outline or like a bare bones idea of what you want to do, but I wouldn't say that it's something to lean out for a fleshed out finished product. I think I'm a little bit more disappointed um, with how it performed than I had hoped to be. Like, I think if I wasn't working with such like niche fashion styles, it would have been easier probably to like get something, but I think that it also speaks to like the limitations of like how it thinks. But like in some ways you have to do your own research and kind of do some of that work yourself. So honestly, at this stage right now, I wouldn't be too worried. I feel like, you know, that like creative human element is still very much needed. But that being said, I feel like we're not that far away from being a little worried. But anyways, I again, I feel like this was kind of like nice and helpful in a way to just like get my mind like going in like a certain direction. Sometimes even it's suggesting to me something that I didn't like helps gear me in the direction of what I would want <laughs> because I react so strongly to what I don't want to wear, you know what I mean? So I don't know, it's not all bad. Like I think that it's actually pretty amazing that something like this exists and it's within our lifetimes. I guess it's like two sides of a coin. On the one side, it's pretty amazing that like there's this feat and like within 10 years, it can be something completely like so many steps further, but at the same time, it's also really scary because of like, what's gonna happen to our jobs and stuff. Like, and this is something inherently creative where the AI is already like learning so much already. So I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the different outfits. Would you utilize AI in any way for your own outfits or anything else? Are you currently using AI? for anything. I know I have friends that have used AI just to like create like a quick recipe, which is crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And as always, love you guys. Until next time. Bye bye. Now I want to hear from you. Which outfit from this week's AI fashion experiment was your favorite? Was it the daring statement piece or the elegant ensemble that stole your heart? Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you once again for being here with me. Until next time, stay fabulous, stay fashionable, and keep shining.